Made with Unity, Personal Edition. Hi everyone, this is Whitehawk, and today I'll be playing a game I was not expecting to play because it's fresh off the shelves of Steam and a key was given to me for this game. Axe, Bow, and Staff. I have absolutely no idea what this game is about, besides maybe an axe, a bow, and a staff, but... Is it an online game? I don't know. I was given a key to play this game one day before it actually officially released, but uh, it's already released now, so I'm actually playing the actual game now. Well, let's just start. New game. It is a time of wizards and goblins. A time... Oh, I can fast forward. And I can skip. Well, I'll, I'll still read the intro. A time when a man could walk off the flat edge of the earth and not be sure of where he'd end up. Possibly just on the other side, like a flat coin. Gravity being what it is and all that. But gravity hasn't been invented yet. It's also tea time as I am writing this, so forgive me if you are some crumbs. Where was I? Oh, yes, time. While wandering through the woods, it's a good time to remember that penicillin, antibiotics, and hand sanitizer haven't been invented yet, so you should probably try and stay away from the wildlife. <laughs> what is this intro? I get the humor, but I, I'm not in the mood right now. In fact, I'm playing this really late at night, because I'm lazy like that. Anyway, so those things bite really hard and smell like dirty, weak-old socks soaked in multi cheese water. The smelly creatures might be goblins. It's hard to tell with all of the mud and dirty cheese and cheese water and such. It's time to begin the story, which starts as at the edge of the universe before spiraling down into galaxies and cosmic stars, selling by to find a world that's possibly flat or shaped like a ball. Because no one is sure because no one has actually gone to the edge of it to find out. And I have just run out of tea in my pot. Well, that was a whole load of nothing. I hope it'll pay off later, because otherwise, you're wasting my time. Like, all I got from that intro is that maybe there's some goblins. Okay, is that my... That this is my character? I can't control right now. I don't I don't think I can control. Okay, press J to slash. Okay, so it's a nodal runner. Huh. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I I don't mind. So I'm just gonna be attacking all the time. Well, I have a shield. Yeah, if I press K, my shield uh goes up for like a second and best. Yay! I can block. So that's the entire game, huh? Hmm. Well, it's not bad. Simple, not bad. Can that... Oh! Cheater! Dirty, dirty cheater! Hmm, actually now I wonder what's gonna happen if I... Oh, I can move up and down? Okay, cool. Okay, uh, I want to see what happens if you stick uh, to a rock like this. You die instantly. That makes a whole lot of sense. I mean, the whole thing is that I, I'm just coming off the heels of... Uh, can I catch those things? Uh, I guess not. The whole thing is that I'm coming off the heels of uh, Undertale and... Going back to a game that adheres to video game tropes once again is... A little jarring, you know? I expect some subversions. Then again, there's still a chance for it. Or I could just keep playing the game and have fun. It's not bad. Don't misunderstand me. This is not bad at all. It's just really, really simple. Oh, is that a mimic? Also, I'm slower than normal now. Okay, no, it's just an actual chest. Press R to use the help potion. Q and E to switch between items. Okay, uh, hopefully I'll remember. It's getting more and more complex the longer I play. And the enemies do not damage me if I touch them. That's good! I like that a lot. Uh, what? Okay, this one's bigger than normal. I hadn't noticed. Yay! Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Um, how was I supposed to avoid that? Oh, wait, level clear? Okay, cool. <laughs> I thought I died right there. Yay. Um, world map? Well, I should probably do next level. 
Oh, now I'm playing as the archer. And boost of speed or something. Anyway, uh, the archer must be super overpowered because he or she can attack from a super far distance. Oh, but they cannot break down these bushes. So they have to jump over them because they have no shield. Yeah, I'm liking this a whole lot more than the, the axe person. It's a different, yet still fun experience. Hmm. Also, you get a small boost of speed when you jump. Ow. Spikes hurt. At least they don't kill me instantly. Ow. I cannot jump immediately after uh, firing uh, an arrow. So I gotta time myself. Oh, and those uh, fountains heal you. Oh, okay, cool. Very, very cool. Jump. Yeah, I just want to keep my normal speed going. Cannot blame me, huh? Ooh, and that, this is what happens when you uh, go directly into the bushes. Hmm. Yeah, there's some depth to this game, but it's still kind of simple. I I guess it's just because I'm not all that used to auto runners, you know? I grew up on Mario games. So sorry if I come off as aggressive, but that's just how it is with me. Old and cranky. Jump. Good thing my arrows are so strong. I'd hate for them to take two hits to defeat the opponents. And I'm gonna have to fight the boss soon. Nope. That I missed one of those stars. Uh well coins, whatever it was. You know, I gotta say, I don't think it's all that effective to just jump over the arrows. I sh it would be better if I could sidestep them, but I guess I couldn't in this case. Or any case, apparently. Because this is a boss stage. The hell? Oh, but there was probably an arrow that I hadn't noticed. So every hit deals 10 damage, huh? Well, anyways, that was level 2. I enjoyed it a whole lot more than level 1. Now I'm gonna play with the staff user, right? Yeah, the wizard. The super cliched wizard. Who sneezes. <laughs> J to teleport. I have to teleport? Oh, teleport the enemy. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And now I'm no longer sneezing. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about you, old man, but I'll deal with it. Also, I've got an electric shield now. It does not help very much. It's probably the counter uh, projectiles, I would say. We'll see if... Eventually. Oh, wow. I need the help of my enemies in order to continue with the level. Uh, press... Hold J and press S to target... Okay, okay. I, I gotta remember this stuff. Try... I oh, okay, I did it properly because I have to release J. Oh, and time slows down when you hold J. Cool, cool, cool. Perfect. I understand perfectly. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't actually have to be facing the enemy to teleport them. Like, see, I'm going to teleport the enemy right here. I can do it from a completely different lane. That's cool. Um, no, just stay here. Give me. Oh, and I can use the potion. Well, right now, really. But I'm going to keep it for later because there's going to be a boss at the end of this road. Right? Any time now. Shield! Oh, dispel. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, plants are... Ca plants cannot be teleported. I guess I better remember that. I'm angry at something for some reason. 
I guess I should take uh, these plants as uh, um, uh, eggplant wizards, like uh, in Kid Icarus. Only old people will know that reference. Oh, uh, but then again, Kid Icarus did get a new game a while ago. Maybe some people played it and know what I mean. But it's really more of a reference for people who played the NES game. It really, really is. Slow down. I could have kept my speed up, but... Damn it! Spell. Why am I collecting those coins? I guess it's because they're there. Yeah, I'm you know what? I really do like this game. Its simplicity is very endearing. Uh, was that bird gonna give me money? I guess I have to keep it around, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I best keep the bird around. Uh, please! Damn it! No! I am the fail. There's gonna be a switch at the end. It's gonna need to be pressed in order to let me continue with the level, right? Okay, no, I guess not. Oh, I guess I would have gotten money if I kept the bird around. Yeah, you know what? I like that, and I only got two stars this time. Hmm. I kind of want to start the level over. What happens if I click world map? Uh, okay. That's the archer. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. We're going to a new level after this. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna play. Found the cave. Quick exploit. Start. Clean as the wizard. Oh, and the story's told uh, simplistically through emotions. That's great! Oh, uh, uh, what? I'm controlling both of them, and I can switch at any time? Oh my goodness, this game has gotten so much more complicated now. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I'll stick to the axe guy first. Because he's easy to use. And can defeat all of the enemies. But eventually I've got to have to teleport something. Right? Almost positive. Also, I have to keep. I have to remember that I have. Oh, I can also use tab. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you switch. Okay. And I teleport him back. Cool. Go into the spikes or the water. I don't care. Then tab to break down this thing. Yay! Oh, and press X to join. Someone else could actually be playing with me. Ah. Uh, and there's all an online mode, so yeah, this is a multiplayer game. That's that's kind of cool. I guess I judged this game way too quickly, but I was just I just tried to. <laughs> First thing, need to move back. Well, here can you skill? Oh, of course. I then tab. What? <laughs> a little confusing. Anyway, yeah, I tend to judge game the games too quickly, but I gave them gave the games ample chances, and uh, this one proved itself really quick. That's great! Uh, please follow me, CPU. Thank you. CPU! Please follow me! Stick with me! Ugh. Damn it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, CPU. Keep up with me. For the love of goodness. Keep up with me and... Uh, stop! Are you scared of the rats or something? What? I, I missed that thing! Oh, I missed that thing. Ow. I'm almost dead. Potion! Ten! Only ten HP! Damn it, another potion. Oh goodness, I'm gonna die. Well, at least I get a checkpoint right here. Oh, the wizard is locked. Okay, cool. Or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Ugh, things are getting really complicated out of nowhere. Yeah, thanks for that. And I need to stay focused. 
Thankfully, there's so many checkpoints, it does not matter. Can I get another potion? Those are okay. What are the coins for, however? I need to know. Also, apples heal. Can you follow me? Ah, it's better going on here. Up, uh, up. Oh. Yep, yeah, follow me. <sighs> Ow. Uh, <laughs> potion. Up. Oh, damn it, wizard! <laughs> I blame you for that one. Uh, can you please dispel me? I guess it's too late now. Shield. Ugh. No one's dead yet. I, I need to take control of the wizard more often. I think at some point I locked uh, him in place or something. What are you too scared about? Oh, the cat's gonna eat everything. Thanks! Yeah, I have to stick to where the cat is, right? Presumably. Oh. No! <laughs> Follow me, please. I'm just gonna stick uh, with the cat. Stop! Ah, games like this, where it's a uh, optional co-op, it's always best to play with an actual person because of stuff like that that can happen. Yeah, thanks for healing me, whoever that was. Oh, no, it was a checkpoint. Yay, I like kitty cats. Although, it has a strange color, to be honest. Is it the boss? It's the boss. No, it's not the boss. Oh, well, only two stars, because I'm, I'm really not used to this game. Jeez, okay, upgrade. Let's see what that is. Use money? No, it's just a tech tree. That's fine, that's fine. Enduring block, increase the duration block. Upgrade! Cool. Can I upgrade this too? The total will be paralyzed for a while. That's good. Yay. Okay, one more stage, and it's probably with the archer. Or with these two again. Huh. Okay, whatever. The, the hell? I can't control my characters. Oh no, the archer's here. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna have to juggle between three characters, and the archer cannot <laughs> get past the uh, barrels because only the axe guy can do that. Yay! One, two, three. To quick, cool, cool. Um, okay, the 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 arrows work that way somehow. And one is for two. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably gonna stick to the axe guy most often because uh, they play simplistically. Eh. Yeah, good enough. Don't need to teleport. Whew, the game has gone so much more complicated now. Why did my character move down? I did not order them to do that. But I guess we want to collect all those coins. Yeah, and to see if you can handle themselves to some extent. Yeah. You know what? I like this game. Um, I got it for free, but I imagine uh, any of you watching this who want to play this will have to pay for it on Steam or some other type of medium it may have been released on, but it's entertaining. It can be played with other people. If I had known that, I would have probably invited someone to play with me, but, well, I suppose they would have had to... I would have had to pay the game for them. <laughs> I have plenty of money. It's almost... Yeah, it's almost the holidays. Hmm. I have a habit of buying stuff for people on the holidays, but I can't even remember if I did that on the last uh, holiday season. Uh, maybe. Steam sales help a lot, in case in you're wondering. They help a whole lot. What are the spiders for? I kind of wonder what the spiders for. Anyway, I want to play as the bow character. Because why not? It's getting a little boring to play as a. Uh... Yeah. It's getting a little boring to play as the uh, axe guy. Oop! Stop! Stop! No, no! Press this! Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know how the archer's bow is actually 
pressing switches like that works, but it does, so not gonna argue against it. Uh, Axe guy is not too smart, unfortunately. Damn it. Got damaged. Uh, what does E do? Oh, switch between items. Okay, yeah, right, forgot. Ah! Spikes! Spikes hurt! The character is not too smart, unfortunately. And I wanted a treasure chest, but I missed it. Okay, cool. Checkpoint. Checkpoints are great. This will be the last stage I'm going to be playing tonight. Because it's really late at night. Are you scared, wizard? Oh, jeez. Giant rats. Okay, you stay here. You go down here. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Okay, you cannot stop the red rats. Yeah, the axe guy is doing all the work for me. Giant rat's dead! Yay! I'm a rat catcher. Uh, the rat was apparently a cursed guy. No, you're not food. Hooray! Oh, cool! Money! Level clear. And three stars! Yeah! Okay. Also, I got a shop future, which means I can actually... Yeah, that's what this character is. Can buy new stuff. Yay! Uh, but that's going to be for maybe some other time. What do you all think? Do you, do you want to see me play this game more often? Windshot. Yay. You all want to see me play this game again? Maybe I can play with someone else too? Because that's what the point of this game is. You should be playing with friends and stuff. Would make the whole experience a whole lot easier, that's for sure. And you get images of the characters after uh, you uh, do a level. It's cool. I, I wish I had seen the first two levels images. Yeah, this game has put gotten a lot of love put into it. From what I've played so far, I think it's pretty good. And it's pretty lengthy too. There's at least 20 stages. Possibly a little more? Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I'm all out of time, however, so... Hope you've all enjoyed this video on Lava Rain Estate. This game has been released on Steam. It, uh... Oh, wow, actually, the stars are on the top left here. 87 in total. Hmm. That means there's... 29 stages. Hmm, not bad. But, yeah, anyway, that's I'm all out of time. Hope you all enjoyed this video on Lava Rain Estate. You can find this game on Steam, and I'll probably put a link in the description that will guide you along the way to finding how to get this game yourself. And please give me your opinion on whether or not I should continue playing this, whether it be solo or with some other friends. Until next time, though, bye-bye.